Michel Barnier and arch-federalist Guy Verhofstadt are allegedly facing growing pressure to force Britain into a no-deal Brexit too. Dismantle potential calls for withdrawal from other European Union member states. Mr Gosling suggested growing dissent with the institution in Italy and Greece suggest Brussels may soon have to deal with Brexit-like referendum from the two core countries. Speaking to Press TV, the investigative reporter said, on the other side you've got a lot of pressure on the EU negotiators. Particularly Verhofstadt and Barnier, to make sure the British get a bad deal of some sort in order to send a very clear message around Europe that nobody else should seek to follow Britain out of the Brussels government. The last vote I've seen has 71% of Greeks wanting to leave the European Union. They were given a vote in July 2015, they voted against the bailout deal and yet they had to accept the bailout deal anyway. We've also got the Italians wanting to leave. In Italy, they've got a left-wing party and a right-wing party both wanting to leave. In an alliance, in 2015 Greece delivered a blow to the bailout conditions the European Commission, the International Monetary Fund and the European Central Bank had put forward, with 61% of voters rejecting the proposal, a European Parliament survey of 1016. Greek voters carried out between April 11 and April 22, 2018 found 68% of the respondents believe things are going in the wrong direction in the EU, while 76% claim their voice does not count in European institutions. With more EU shock claim, voters pay £70,000 a year for EU Commission's alcohol Brexit news, Verhofstadt and Barnier reportedly facing pressure to punish the UK to stop it and exit, image EUROPARLTVLA7, speaking to the BBC in January, Greek national Anthony Papadimitriou, who once supported the EU but is now is staunchly opposed, said, there is no equal voice of the member states anymore. Germany is the only major country. All the decision-making is affected 100% by the German interests. And you see the results now that citizens are against Europe and this is bad, another person added, I don't feel positive about the European Union, all the history of Greece, the culture, the way of life, they want to get rid of it and make all the Greek people like robots, Italy DPD Prime Minister Matteo Salvini advocated for the country to leave this madhouse before coming into power in 2017, speaking in Brussels while still a member of the European Parliament. For his Lega party, Mr Salvini accused the bloc of killing hundreds of thousands of jobs, while serving the interests of others and not of European citizens. He said, yet, yeah, another proof that the sooner Italy leaves, the better it is the EU does nothing to defend the rights of European citizens. If this evening a toy manufacturer, a shoe manufacturer, a furniture manufacturer realizes that one of his her products has been forged in China, for example, the European Union does not do anything. Brussels does not move a finger, maybe, after a year and a half when the Italian factory has already been closed, it might decide to intervene. Do you think this is normal? Mr Salvini noted there are certain politicians in the EU who should be ashamed as they receive a salary paid by taxpayers to serve the interests of the multinationals, of the bankers, of the financiers, while in Italy and Europe, hundreds of thousands of jobs have been lost.